Welcome back to another Good Buddy Fly Fishing video. I tried to make this video a couple days ago, um, trying to catch a bass on the Game Changer. Tied the fly, tried several times, I haven't caught anything. So I was like, you know what, I'll make a video. But I made this mistake where I spent half the time trying to catch a bluegill so I wouldn't get skunked. And now I ended up catching one bluegill and no bass. So here's some clips from that first attempt um, with the Game Changer. So today I've just got two rods. I've got a, let's see, I've got a six weight TFO with game changer, full sink line. I've got a five weight, which I really need a bigger, um, heavier rod for, I think for this fly, but five weight Sage RPL, Orvis reel and a floating line, um, kind of a straight mono lead or two. So, this is the one I'm going to go with on the floating line. Um, I had a subscriber ask if I'd ever tried a like a beard trimmer to shape my game changer. I was like, I have a beard, I have a beard trimmer. So I gave it a shot and it, now that I'm out in the light, there's still some more trimming I could do, but it looks good. This one's same color, took a Sharpie, um, drew some stripes on it to see if maybe that would help. And I've got a white one as well. Uh, I'm going to try both those. Um, I don't have a lot of time this morning, so I'm just going to go out. It's like 64, dead calm, really nice morning. So I thought maybe a cooler morning would help the other day. It was 63. I got nothing. I didn't, I don't even think I really moved anything. So we'll see. I'll put the boat in, give this a shot. Just check this out. Just what a great morning. Bluebird skies, sun's starting to come over the trees. We'll see how it goes. Not really moving. Got to figure out what's going on. This doesn't help. You get all this junk wrapped around it. It does not tend to work very well. Oh man, it's really in there. Oh, dude. That was a big mistake. Well. I guess it's spinning now. That's what we want. Yeah, it definitely helps to have um, my neighbors let me use their dock. Um, so I've got kind of permission from two of my neighbors to, to be able to use their dock whenever I need to or want to. And my neighbor, Pat, lets me keep my boat on his dock. Saves me an unbelievable amount of time when I want to get out. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start around here. I've got, there's a bunch of trees down in the water here. I'm gonna see if I can't find a bass in here. I'm gonna start with a floating line just so I don't get deep, get hung up as much. Kind of start here, just kind of work along this bank, get into the sun, and then I might jump over here and run this bank in the shade. It is pretty awesome temperature, let's see. 64, 66. 66 degrees, it's perfect. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna like, I tried to make this video, like I said, didn't catch a fish. Instead of shooting one day, trying to catch a fish, I'm just gonna make this video in as many days as it takes for me to grab a bass on a game changer. So wish me luck.
Oh, dang. Come back, come back. Wouldn't be a good buddy video without getting stuck in a tree, you know what I mean? Come on. There we go. Oh no. No. Dag. All right. Just really doing a great job of catching things I don't want to catch. Oh man, I just got a bite and I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, ain't that just the way it is? Another strikeout. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I need some help for sure. Day two in the books, no bass on the game changer. How do I look? I look pretty good? You look fine. I look like I'm in the frame? Yeah. All right, so this is, we're gonna call this day three. It's technically the afternoon of day two. So I have, uh, have a new cameraman with me, so he's gonna, he's gonna help me film. I don't. I didn't even have time to charge the GoPro, so we're going to do the same thing as we did this morning and the other day. Three flies, three game changers, catching a bass. You can just. I just don't want you to fall in. Oh, come out, ah, oh, dude. Oop. What do I do now? Just film. You want to get some footage of me fishing? Casting under these trees. Now are you going to go for a fisherman's challenge? A fisherman's challenge? Yeah. Maybe. What, what, what fisherman's challenge should I do? I don't know. Anyone you want. Dad, they have a pole over there. I know. They do. Would you rather be doing that? No. Jones, do you think we have fish in this lake? No. No, you don't? Yeah, me either. I'm starting to wonder. Maybe. We don't have much often. We got a lot of bluegill, but. Not much bass. Not much bass. We used to have a bunch of bass. Well, Maybe they went over there, like under that. Um, th that thing that no one can go away on their, um... What thing? There's like a thing that no one can go away on their boat. Only the fish can go under. Oh, the bridge back there? Yep. Yeah. So you want to go home, huh? Yep. Yep. Alright, so I say we fish this cove here. And I say we go to Gary. And he says we should go to Mr. Gary's house, so... We're doing rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. Okay, right here. Rock, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, man, we're going yeah. to Gary's. Good job. <laughs> Dad, put a black belt. Like, put it... When it's going to come to the um, speeding part, put a black belt, and then we're going to... And then, and then do the time lapse, okay? A black belt? What yeah. do you mean? What's a black belt? Like, put the black... Put there's a picture of like a black before a black before screen. the before the time lapse. A black screen for a second and then just turn it into um a time lapse. Is it hard with making time lapse? Uh, it just depends. I don't really do time lapses the way you're supposed to do them. I just speed up the video. But put music in that part. So you're saying black screen? and then go into the time lapse with some yeah. music? Yeah. Okay, we'll time lapse from here. Dad, do you have a gaming channel? A gaming channel? When I have YouTube videos, I'm gonna make a gaming channel. 
a gaming channel and not a gaming channel. That's what YouTubers do sometimes. Thanks for helping. You're welcome, Dad. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. All right. Oh, and we almost lost him. <laughs> That's funny. Um, so, attempt number three is unsuccessful. So, he really wanted to say like and subscribe. So that's it for attempt three. We'll go again tomorrow. Here we are, day four. A little different conditions. Got overcast. It's 72 degrees. Got the beard with me. A little Heimler's history. Check him out on YouTube. A little positive mug. Some coffee. We're gonna make this work. I feel it. I felt it every day so far, but I really feel it today. Same thing, different day. I probably should change it up, maybe go to a different part of the lake, but I just really feel like there's gonna be bass everywhere I've been, so, you know, why change it up? It's working so far. So I'm all the way on the other side of the, the lake. I've had a couple bites, but nothing to really, nothing to show for it, obviously. I'm gonna check the water temps and see where we're at. 78. 78 degrees. I don't know, I think that would make fish move. I don't know. It was like 84, 85 last week. So, I don't know. Maybe that's not the problem. Maybe we just need some more cool nights. And so it continues. That's a wrap on day four. Nothing to show for it, but, you know, we'll try again. Day five, a little rain. Different game changer. I'm feeling a little less confident, to be honest, but here we go. Well, that's it. Day five done. Try again next time. Day six, got five and a half inches of rain last night, so hopefully that'll help me out. Still feeling a little discouraged, to be honest, but here we go. Day six done. Day number seven. You gotta be kidding me. All this time. That's a wrap on day seven. This is day eight. Well, at least I know bluegill eat it. Day eight is over. Day nine. I'm not gonna lie. I don't wanna lose this fish. It ain't much, but it's a bass on the game changer. Didn't even need the stinger hook oh man that makes me feel really good all right buddy hey thanks for biting my cricket i cannot tell you how that makes me feel man that's been a long time coming nine days i guess it pays to get out early six inch bass makes me so happy that might have been a bass. There we go, it was a bass. Thank you, sir. Doing better? in the top of the mouth let's get this guy back that's gonna do it for this episode of good buddy fly fishing it took me nine days nine days to catch a bass if you haven't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button you know my son even asked like and subscribe be a big help appreciate you coming along with me I'll see you in the next one you gotta be kidding me All this time.